What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, this time for the new comedy, Popstar. Popstar Never Stop Never Stopping is written and directed and stars The Lonely Island along with a ton of other famous people. This is their debut film after making all of their hilarious shorts on SNL and then eventually leaving that to sort of go their separate ways, but they have produced this film, directed it, written it themselves, done everything they could to make this movie great, and they were actually pretty successful. Popstar is the story of super pop star Connor For Real and how he came to fame in this famous group, but then and the group broke up and he went solo and this is sort of like a mockumentary about all of those like Justin Bieber and One Direction documentaries that get made when they go on tour. Instead it's his album release of his new like second solo album and it's super anticipated and it's a fake documentary about what happens before and after the release of the album. Now to start with this movie just has an insane amount of famous people in it. They all sort of just play themselves throughout it. Some of them have little cameo roles as not themselves, but since it's a documentary they have like these first-hand accounts from people where it's just them talking to a camera about the character Connor for real, and they're really funny. You get people like ASAP Rocky and 50 Cent and Nas talking about this pop star that Andy Samberg's playing, and it's great. I think that Andy Samberg really shines through as Connor for real as this like dim-witted pop star who was never raised properly so he doesn't have any real idea of what's right and what's wrong in the world and he's really funny throughout the whole film along with the other Lonely Island guys and really everyone in this movie has at least one moment where they're very funny. The movie also actually feels like a documentary. It feels like Justin Bieber's Never Say Never or the One Direction stuff because they actually have those testimonials from other famous people talking about the person that it's about and it has these moments where like they interact with the camera people and the camera people like talk to them and it really felt like a fun, fake thing that is being extremely smart in the way that it is making comedy. This movie also reminded me a lot of one of my like top five favorite comedies, which is Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story, because that movie had hilarious music in it, and the script was very funny, even though that was sort of a spoof movie of Walk the Line. This is sort of a spoof movie of like Justin Bieber's Never Say Never, and I feel like it really worked that way, but I think the main thing they have in common is they're like, musical comedies, even though the music is not how they're talking, they incorporate these songs that are super funny, and this movie did that too. This movie's soundtrack is hilarious. I, it's been three days since I've seen this movie, and I'm still singing one of the songs from it. This movie is just very, very funny, and I think just like any great episode of South Park, it has its moments where it's almost too clever. This movie is extremely smart, even though I think a lot of people will go into it thinking it's an extremely dumb comedy. But these people, the Lonely Island guys particularly, have figured out how to make a film that is so intelligent in the way it makes fun of being a celebrity, and these like pop stars that come to fame who never were raised on how to be a proper person and they're sort of just assholes and I think that this movie captures that so well and it does everything that it can to make it as ridiculous and as funny as it can but it never shies away from the fact that the guys that wrote this script and this script are so smart and it's just like how I thought about Neighbors 2. Neighbors 2 is a movie that's very dumb in terms of the way people will look at it but it's actually a very funny film about feminism and sexism just like this movie is a very funny film about fame and what it is to be a pop star it's funny it's just straight funny and these guys are so smart and I really hope they continue to make movies into the future the only things that I'll really say that I feel like were wrong with the film is near the end there was a little bit of a lull where there wasn't really anything that was that funny that was happening and the story didn't really feel like it was progressing that much but it wasn't that big of a problem I think the main issue that this movie suffered from is since the Lonely Island guys have been well known for writing and sketch comedy there were a few moments in this film that felt like sketches they they felt like as if SNL created the character of Connor for real and then they decided to put him in this funny situation. A lot of it felt organic but there were just a couple particular scenes that to me felt like it was like we're just going to drop them here because it'd be a funny situation to drop them in and it felt more like a sketch than it did as a scene in a movie. I'm going to give Popstar a B plus. I think Popstar and Keanu are the two best comedies that have gotten released so far this year, and if you want a very funny movie to go see with your friends, I would definitely recommend checking out Popstar. If you enjoy shows like South Park or you've enjoyed Lonely Island in the past, definitely go see this movie. Well guys, as always, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this review, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of Popstar, share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews, and I hope to see you guys later.